With New York Governor Andrew Cuomo facing possible impeachment over sexual harassment allegations, the spotlight is now on Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul. CBS News' Alice Gaynor is here now with more for us. Alice. Christine and Maurice, if a majority of the 150 member assembly votes to impeach him or if he steps down, Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul would take over as governor and it would make her New York's first female governor. New York Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul has spent much of the last nearly seven years on the road, visiting each of the state's 62 counties yearly, mostly working in Governor Andrew Cuomo's shadow during her two terms in office. The 62-year-old was not present during his daily coronavirus briefings, was not mentioned in his pandemic memoir, and is not considered a part of his inner circle. Hochul's name was also not mentioned in the investigative report by State Attorney General Letitia James, which detailed efforts by Cuomo's staff to discredit some of his accusers. In a series of tweets last week, Hochul said in part she believed the women and that the AG's investigation has documented repulsive and unlawful behavior by the governor towards multiple women. But she stopped short of calling for his resignation because she's next in the line of succession. It would not be appropriate to comment further on the process at this moment. Her communications director posted these pictures last week as she rode the subway on her way to an event in Harlem, wearing a baseball cap that read, fight like a girl. Even though jokes were made about this could be the next governor that we're, that we're addressing today, she was resolute and uh, did not make any mention of anything. She was a consummate professional. Queens Assemblywoman Alicia Heinemann invited the lieutenant governor to speak at the event for the National Organization of Black Elected Legislative Women prior to the release of the AG's report. Outside of that event, Hochul has been canceling public appearances. She was in Queens recently. A couple of my colleagues met with her. So she has definitely made an impression, I believe, across the state of New York. A Buffalo native, Hochul served on the Hamburg Town Board and then as Erie County Clerk. She was elected to Congress, winning a 2011 special election, representing a conservative western New York district. But she lost a bid for re-election a year later. And the lieutenant governor has a bachelor's degree from Syracuse University and a law degree from Catholic University, but she left a career in law for public service. She's also married with two children. Maurice, Christine. Thank you, Alan.